Resident Evil 7 drags you from PC to Xbox One. Ditto makes Pidgey relevant again in Pokemon Go. Walking Dead Season 3 wishes you a Merry Christmas. Survival becomes essential in Uncharted 4. And No Man's Sky rises from the dead. All that and much more in today's Last Week's Gaming News. Roll the intro! Earlier last week, it was announced that Resident Evil 7 will feature cross-save capabilities between PC and Xbox One. Although it has not been confirmed yet by Microsoft or Capcom, the cross-save feature is usually reserved for Play Anywhere titles in where the Xbox One player purchases a game and gets a copy of a PC version for free. IGN has confirmed though with Capcom that the cross-save feature is coming to Resident Evil 7. So if you're tired of getting scared shitless in your dark basement, you can continue your misadventure in a slightly less dark living room and try not to get punched in the face by a raincoat wearing maniac. Straight to the moon. At the beginning of last week, people started spotting Ditto on their cell phone while playing Pokemon Go. The elusive Pokemon has finally been added by Niantic onto Pokemon Go, but you won't see this little pink slime running around the map anytime soon. So far, the only way to catch a Ditto is by catching another type of Pokemon and then it will transform into Ditto once caught. Some of the known Pokemons that Ditto transform from are Pidgeys, Rattata, and some have even said that Magikarp also can transform into Ditto one time. The pink blob Pokemon also comes with a new feature when it comes to gym battle. What's cool about Ditto is when you finally use him in a gym battle, he will transform into the opponent you're presently fighting and use the same ability as he is. Now time to go out there and make Pidgeys extinct. Straight to the moon. At the end of last week, Telltale Games has finally announced the release date for their up-and-coming Season 3 of Walking Dead. On December 20th, you will finally be able to play Clementine once again, and a new character is also introduced by the name of Javier, or Javier, I think. Season 3, also referred to as A New Frontier, will be available on Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, PC, iOS, and Android. A Season Pass will also be available for the purchase, where you can get 5 episodes for the price of $25. For the players wanting a disc-based version of the game, this will become available on February 7th with the first episode loaded on the disc. Unfortunately, episode 2 to 5 will be only downloadable content. The disc version will come at the price of $30. Here's hoping that we get an eye-popping experience off this one. Straight to the moon. Coming straight from PlayStation Blog last week, Survival Mode has finally been announced for Uncharted 4. Having talked about co-op early in the year, Naughty Dog is finally ready to reveal its new mode to the masses coming up at PlayStation Experience this week. This new mode will feature 50 waves of intense battling between different types of enemy that are featured in the game, and it will also feature a boss every 10 waves of enemy. You will also have the opportunity to choose between 10 maps for this new adventure. You will also be able to earn in-game cash from killing enemies. This will help you unlock such things as big weapon, mystical powers, and much more. Collecting treasures and completing objectives are only a few things you will have to do to complete some of the waves inside the game and give a little bit more of a challenge to the player while playing. Time to jump back into Uncharted 4, get the crew together, and get some hard-hitting action going on. Straight to the moon. Hello Game has finally come back from the dead to unveil their new update for No Man's Sky. Update 1.1 is now live and features plenty of new stuff that the player can see and do. Besides the laundry list of improvements to the game itself, the update also brings two new modes to the game to choose from. Now you get your normal mode, which is pretty much what self-explanatory you play the normal game. Survival mode intensifies the games and tests your skills to survive. And creative mode. The creative mode is where the bulk of the update really is. This new mode introduces base building, which is a feature that the creators have been talking about for a while, but we're not able to get in, in the game at launch. Base building will bring the ability to, well, build bases, but will also allow the player to research new tech, hire some people to do some research for you, auto mine resources, and also in the base itself will be areas to stockpile some of your resources. There's also plenty of other stuff you're going to be able to do in the base itself. Also included in the update will be the ability to purchase space freight, which are basically the same thing as base building on planet, what you'll be able to do within space. And also you can internally build inside the space itself. Space Station will now feature teleporters, which will allow you to go from Space Station to your new base and vice versa. And also I forgot to mention that you will be able to claim a planet for your own and stay there where you, when you build your base and teleport there from anywhere from space. There's so much more information to this update, so I do recommend you go to No Man's Sky's website to find out more. But unfortunately, I brought back my copy of No Man's Sky and I won't be able to try out this new update because I had to buy one dog too, so uh, I guess I'll be playing this one a bit later. Straight to the moon. Now, onto our weird news of the week. Red Barrel Games, the creators of Outlast, have come out for a Kickstarter for a new project they're working on, but it's not what exactly you think it is. Now, they have announced Outlast 2 coming out, but this is not what I'm talking about. They have introduced a new Kickstarter 
called underscares. Basically what this Kickstarter is for is to basically you get diapers to play Outlast 2 because a lot of people have reported almost shitting themselves while playing. So there's not much more I can explain about this than go see the Kickstarter. <laughs> I'll be putting the link on the screen right now so you guys can actually go check exactly the real thing you can go check out. Straight to the moon. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this week's last week's gaming news. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Another fun week, a lot of the last one was a weird one. Uh, finally no news, finally good news for No Man's Sky, of course, so that's good, uh, good to hear. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these news things, I really enjoy doing them. They're very fun, um, finding the news and all that stuff. This week was a little tight, I almost didn't make it this week to make you guys uh, an edition for this week. But I got it, I got it made and just in time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below about what you thought about this week's news, of course. Follow me everywhere at MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at youtube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this week's last week's gaming news. I was your host, MeTimeGamer, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep on keeping on.